Several small islands in Narragansett Bay provide protected habitat where maritime birds gather to build their nests and raise their young, safe from predators and out of sight of humans. This is Rose Island, tucked under the Newport Bridge in the East Passage of Narragansett Bay. Videographer Jerry Krause captured these pictures of great white egrets in their breeding plumage. Hunters once brought these birds to the verge of extinction for these fine feathers, prized as a decoration for ladies' hats. Working in the still darkness before dawn, Jerry erects a camouflage tent and waits quietly for the light. His patience makes it possible to share these intimate views of the bird's family life. Both parents tend the nest, incubate the eggs, hunt for fish in shallow coves around the bay, then return to the nest and regurgitate it to feed the young. These tiny egret chicks are less than a week old. The siblings are quite aggressive toward each other as they compete for food, and often the smaller ones don't survive. The chicks grow quickly, but until they can fly, they are dependent on their parents. The only real protection from predators is the isolation of the island. Scientists from URI and the DEM have been studying these birds and found that their numbers are in decline. They peaked at 251 pairs in 2003, and in 2008 were down to 148. The cause for the decline is unclear. A number of factors could be at work. Declines in the fish populations that they prefer, not enough good nesting sites, competition among species, or some kind of random or unknown factor. Lassie ibis are a relatively new resident of our bay. They were first spotted in Rhode Island in the 1930s, and the first recorded nesting in this state was in 1972. This one is built in as deep inside a thorny wild rose bush for protection from predators. Today they nest on the bay islands and are sometimes seen foraging in shallow marshes or in farmers' fields around the coastal areas of the bay. The beautiful birds of Narragansett Bay remind us that we are not alone on this planet and the earth does not belong to us. They remind us that our bay and its wildlife are part of the natural heritage of all Rhode Islanders. By protecting these nesting sites, hidden on the islands of the bay, we ensure that these birds will always have a home.